नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन लेट मी जस्ट ट्राई टू गिव द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट वेदास उपनिषद्स एंड इट्स एग्जिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ यूनिवर्स एग्जिस्टेंस द पॉइंट ओवर हियर इन डूइंग दिस वीडियो इज टू हैव अ क्लियर कट अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट वाई वेदास वाई उपनिषद्स did the texts really exist apaurshaya paurshaya these are the two very concepts that one needs to understand when we are talking about vedas that's the first point one needs to understand the second point that one needs to understand is how are we defining the expansive nature of the universe which has space light and time that travel is the most important factor which conceives the brief understanding about the vedas as a whole that is the first and foremost and the third point over here if we are talking about vedas the very point of talking about vedas by and large is the very existence of the human being at conscious level and subconscious level at conscious level and subconscious level when did it really exist we need to deep dive into the subject delve into the subject though one may argue there are many subjects there are many people who have talked about it and there there have been many discussions and discussions are going on and we are seeing chandrayaan 3 chandrayaan 2 etc etc various satellites voyager 1 and voyager 2 doing the time travel time space and uh, you know travel till now the point is if we go to the billionth year let's say like trillionth year the point is the moment we start getting into that tri- trillionth year per tri- trillionth year state that's where this human existence never existed it was not there at all the earth's shape was inhabitable inhabitable literally in the state of volcanic eruption state with many gases poisonous gases you know life existence was not there at all the point is why this reference if we are talking about vedas do we really need to understand space time and uh, you know a uh, uh, speed yes it is very much important ladies and gentlemen from the shastras point of view prototype life it is pre and post there were many 
you know uh, metals that were existing but as the years passed by centuries passed by maybe you know like you know four between four and half uh, between 4.25 uh, to four and half uh, you know uh, million years if we take that's when the earth cooled down and that's when amoeba or you know these merizymes or enzymes or small 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 kind of thing started happening the very point to understand this this very particular existence when we talk about vedas is you know this is where the very existence of living started at the end of the day or as the centuries passed by or years passed by or whatever you take that's when the planets evolution started moon etc etc now one may say there is one god who is existing unseen god who is formless though we have that formed nature happening we take that because in the process of meditation that's when you realize this and this is where the rajashyamala's existence comes into picture matangi rajashyamala this is where the science of sound started and this is where the deciphering or transliteration of these words or the sound start all of these whatever that i am talking about is the explanation of the expansive universe which is more or less denoted or you know uh, explained or you know it is more uh, like uh, translated using the words or the sounds that are there and this is what is in sanskrit language called bijaksharas again now one may ask again if you are talking about bijaksharas if you are talking about bijaksharas why should you be talking about bijaksharas and uh, on one hand you are talking about bijaksharas and on the other hand you are talking about the vedas vedas is a composition of bijaksharas bijaksharas again are the formation or the sounds inferences and this is where appaur sheya understand ladies and gentlemen i am not uh, uh, you uh, uh, you know uh, uh, making one word i am using i am dividing this paur sheya or uh, appaur sheya into various uh, segments appaur sheya paur sheya and this is further denoted in shastras and this is what is explained in natya shastra as well and divisions and all happened as the years passed by or centuries passed by but what one needs to understand is the moment this thing 
this evolution happened right when this evolution start started happening the living organism the existence of living organism at the minutest and thus the human existence also started so this is the very primary part if one wants to understand about the vedas and upanishads existence even before you know understanding as to why one should be understanding or why sh- one should be reading vedas and upanishads from the view point of uh, uh, you know uh, a holistic approach of the human existence or the consciousness or the subconscious level think about it ladies and gentlemen this is just an introduction to vedas and upanishads from this view point stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead